in dealing with debt. Jason Goggin, the personal finance and holiday spending expert at Bank of America is here with holiday money trends and tips. How early did Americans start their holiday shopping this year? Yeah, so we, we at Bank of America recently completed a survey um, at the end of August. And believe it or not, um, at the end of August, 62% of people already said that they were starting to prepare for the holiday season. And I would say that most of that was what in the vein of preparation. So whether that be budgeting, whether that be planning time off, whether that be um, planning a you know trip or booking a trip, um, all of those activities were happening. And then 51% of the people actually surveyed said that they had been, they had planned to have all of their holiday shopping pretty much wrapped up by the end of Cyber Monday. So people are out there preparing and, and getting ready for the holidays. What's your forecast for consumer spending in the fourth quarter? So some of the spending trends are, in, in, first and foremost, I think throughout the year, we've seen low, um, particularly in the, the second quarter, and we believe this to be true in the fourth quarter, low single digit growth in year over year spending. Um, we're definitely seeing a migration to more online spending. Um, we're actually seeing a migration to customers leveraging more discount stores. And I think it's really, you know, after several years of inflation, people are looking um, to figure out how they can stretch their dollar. What strategies would you suggest to avoid going into debt? So I think it um, always starts with having a really robust plan um, and not waiting to the last minute. And the reason I say that is, is that if you have a plan, it allows you to more flexibility. Um, I think there'll be more discounts this year because a lot of the supply chain um, issues that we had the last couple of years are are behind us. and. Uh, you know, because spend has been growing at the single di digits, I think there's going to be more competition, which definitely benefits consumers um, with discount. So plan ahead, stick to your budget, look at all of your expenditures during the holidays, not just gifts. I know a lot of us have uh, parties or people over for certain days and things of that nature. I would say that those expenses add up just as much as uh, the gift giving, and they're often overlooked. So that would just be another piece of advice I would uh, give folks. What about people who are already having trouble making ends meet? I'm going to give you your, your listeners a couple piece, pieces of advice in terms of you know where there may be money that they're not thinking about. And so a lot of us use credit cards. A lot of us earn rewards throughout the year. Um, look at your credit card rewards to see if that's an opportunity for you to redeem those rewards to offset some of your costs. Kind of view those as kind of the nickels and quarters and dollars that are sitting in your couch, so to speak. Um, the other thing I would say is we have um, robust material at Bank of America on spending and budgeting tools. You can get that information at uh, bettermoneyhabits.com. Um, so that's a good resource. And then, you know, another thing as it relates to rewards is Bank of America is launching our second annual More Rewards Day, where if you're a Bank of America credit or small business um, customer, we're giving our customers 2% more cash back, points, miles. That's just another opportunity to have consumers earn more rewards. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.